part seven of trading like a pro and today i'm gonna take you through market structure analysis we all know that price doesn't move in a straight line in reality price makes impulse moves then corrections aka pullbacks so impulse correction impulse correction until the trend is over and we start seeing a reversal this goes on leaving behind different levels of support and resistance which are higher highs and higher lows and on the opposite is higher lows and higher highs higher lows higher highs higher lows higher highs and in some instances they form equal highs and equal lows so now i've briefly described to you the three market structures of any asset or financial but before we dive into the three structures i need you to understand that this topic will lay the foundation of your technical analysis basically this video will help you lay the foundation or groundwork and if you don't learn how to correctly identify market structure you'll fail and lose a lot of money okay i'm a fan of giving analogies so let me give you one here so it is like building a house if the foundation is weak the house won't last a long time same case with technical analysis if you don't understand the correct market structure you will have a very huge losing stroke so please pay close attention to this video because if you can correctly identify market structure you will increase your chances of being on the right side of the market and by the way you'll notice that almost all the strategies you've seen or come across normally use market structure this is because all strategies need to have the context of the market before entering a trade each and every trader normally ask themselves this important question where is price trying to go and if you can identify the direction of price now the only headache will be to find out if price is doing a good job heading there or not so now there are three market structures namely number one the uptrend which is the bullish market structure number two the downtrend which is the bearish market structure and number three consolidation range or range in short is the sideways market structure please know that knowing these three structures is important for developing or creating your own strategy so that's why i said earlier that market structure analysis is the foundation because i need you guys to be creating your own trading strategies also you'll see how fibonacci levels come in to show the strength and weakness of the trend and how the key horizontal support and resistance levels come in to show the importance of the levels created by price and i hope this becomes enjoyable for you first let's find out if the market is ranging or trending please note that the market trends about 30 percent of the time so even as a trend trader you need to be good at knowing when the market is ranging because it will help you adjust accordingly and maximize on the profits also this can help minimize your losses especially when the trend is over and now price is changing the trend again please note it is always good to be on the right side of the trend so let's start with the first market structure which is the uptrend or also called bullish market structure with the bullish market structure price forms higher highs and higher lows higher highs higher lows higher highs higher lows higher highs higher lows and so on please note it doesn't move perfectly like this sometimes it may form internal market structure changes while the original structure is still in place hence there is a criteria to justify an uptrend or bullish market structure which is number one there must be higher highs and higher lows formed and you can see here higher highs higher lows higher highs higher lows sorry i made a mistake so i've just changed so it's high high higher lows high high higher lows high high higher lows and so the second criteria is that there must be a break of previous higher high this one there must be a break of previous high high a break of previous high high and so on. please note that swing highs and swing lows will guide us as they tend to create impulse modes this one swing high swing low impulse swing high swing low impulse swing high swing low impulse this is so because swing highs represent resistances and swing lows represent support thus creating impulses so i'll cover swing highs and swing lows deeper in another video so kindly follow and subscribe okay the second market structure is downtrend which is the bearish market structure and here price forms lower lows and lower high and also here we can confirm a downtrend when there is a break of previous lower low. and i've shown you here impulse lower low lower high broken by this impulse broken by this impulse and so on and so forth i need you to note that with a downtrend it's the break of previous lower low and with an uptrend it's the break of pre break of previous higher high 
And lastly, the third market structure is consolidation slash ranging market structure. And I know this one is simple for most of you. So it's characterized by equal highs and equal lows. And normally it forms like a channel. It's easy actually for you to identify it. Equal highs, equal lows. Please note, again, please note, in real life, there are internal market structure changes while the overall market structure is still intact. So here is an image from the recent price action. Okay, so now let me touch on the trend changes. And this is important, so please pay attention, okay? The aim is always for the trend to continue as much as possible, but it will change at some point because the buyers want to buy and the sellers want to sell, and then they all pocket the profits they've made. So it's reasonable to note that at some point the trend will change and for you as a trader, you need to do a good job in identifying when the trend has changed and react accordingly. Any sign of weakness in a trend means that price is now changing the direction that is its attempt to go higher or lower is now fake. So I hope you've understood that. And let me point out that although market structure is good in identifying the price direction, you must use it with other technical analysis tools to help you know when market conditions are changed. And one of those tools is the Fibonacci tool, whereby the Fibonacci retracement levels on impulse moves are very good for this. Demonstrate here, like this is an impulse move, this is a retracement. So this is this Fib level here will show you if the trend is strong or weak. I hope it makes sense guys and if it doesn't make sense please comment on this video and i'll help out so practice definitely will make it perfect and you will now start finding yourself on the right side of the market i promise and of course you'll no longer be guessing the direction of price or getting confused so in short the trend is your best friend and i hope you use market structure analysis to help you because it has a lot a lot of benefits you'll see it when you practically do it actually so yeah, that's it. I hope this video was helpful. Please comment on what else you want me to cover because I'm, I'm running out of ideas actually, but I have so much. It's just that I don't know what to cover when and where. I hope it makes sense. So yeah, follow for more. You can share with someone who is interested in trading. And yeah, see you on the next video. Bye.